Hello, football fans. Welcome back to Goal Side. We who are fans of modern football are very fortunate in a way that very few others of our past generations have been. After all, we're able to watch football at one of its most impressive levels of quality ever. Furthermore, there are some players in the history of football whose presence in the game is like a gift from the heavens, a tribute provided to us as football fans so that we can enjoy the sport like many others have not been able to. In our time, we've been given quite a few of these players, including the powerful strikers like Ronaldo Nazario, the immensely talented midfielders like Zinedine Zidane, world-class defenders such as Roberto Carlos and Fabio Cannavaro, and incredible shot stoppers such as Gianluigi Buffon, Iker Casillas, and Oliver Kahn. We've been spoiled, to be honest, but even more so because we've been the recipients of the honor in watching Argentine legend Lionel Messi and, obviously, the Portuguese superstar Cristiano Ronaldo develop their skills and their careers in front of our very eyes. Cristiano Ronaldo himself, a true role model for boys and girls around the entire world, a player who has earned eternal respect from football fans and who will go down as quite possibly the most impressive goal scorer in history, a legend for four different clubs and his country, and winner of a record five Ballon d'Ors. The Portuguese star is often considered something of a superhuman to both his fans and his detractors. But is he really so different to us mortals, who can only dream of the success he's had as a player and as a person, earning dozens of millions each year, and who owns the biggest social media following on the entire planet? Curiously, it seems that there are still things which can make Cristiano Ronaldo break down and weep like a broken-hearted boy, and which can cause his presence of almost impenetrable fortitude to collapse for a few instants. We discovered this only recently, in fact, leading us to realize that for better or for worse, with all his power, self-belief, and all the millions in his account, CR7 is still as human as the rest of us. But what are we talking about exactly? It seems that Cristiano Ronaldo's great weakness isn't his rival, Lionel Messi, or even the recent rape accusations against him that recently made all the headlines. His greatest weakness is his father, Jose Dinis Aviero, who died in 2005 of liver failure at the age of 52 when Cristiano Ronaldo was just 20 years old. This became clear in a very recent interview on Good Morning Britain, hosted by English broadcaster, journalist, and television personality Piers Morgan, in which the 54-year-old greeted Cristiano Ronaldo on a show for an hour-long interview in which the Portuguese superstar would reveal his deepest secrets and answer the most important questions that the world of entertainment had for him. Upon answering a few other questions, Cristiano was invited to watch a video he had never seen before, in which Dina Savero spoke to the press about his son's achievements back in 2004. It was footage which had never been aired, and which Morgan's team had recovered only recently for the interview with Cristiano. In this video, Avero was seen sitting on his doorstep, smiling as he talked about how proud he was about his son's successful career. His words seem honest, and it appears that he had quite a lot of admiration for Cristiano. Ronaldo's emotional response was surprising, tears welling in his eyes. He couldn't help but weep in a mixed reaction of grief, shock, as well as the love he still holds for his father. Wiping his eyes and stifling a sob, Cristiano apologized for his moment of weakness, telling Morgan that he had never seen the footage before. This is completely true, and the reaction was basically what Morgan had wanted to get from the Portuguese star. Piers accepted Ronaldo's apology, but quickly asked him what he felt about what he'd just seen. Cristiano's emotion showed clearly as he remembered how he had never talked much with his father, nor had he ever had a close relationship with him. As many other football players in the world, including Memphis Depay and Virgil van Dijk, it seems that Ronaldo's relation with Jose Dinas was always difficult, as his father's well-known problems with alcohol distanced them from one another and prevented them from having a decent conversation. In fact, Avero's alcoholism and subsequent death led to Cristiano's brave decision to never drink alcohol again in his life. Avero's alcoholism was a result of mental dramas brought about when the ex-soldier came back from participating in wars in Mozambique and Angola. Cristiano's tears represented the grief of his father not being around to see him as the number one, nor to see everything he had become. The interview soon moved on, and Cristiano continued to open up. Other questions asked during Piers Morgan's interview included what Cristiano Ronaldo felt after the rape accusations made by American model Catherine Mayorga, which the superstar responded with, embarrassing claiming that he had seen the news on television with his children in the house and had been forced to change the channel to avoid it ruining their image of him. He also spoke of his love for his girlfriend and mother of his daughter, Georgina Rodriguez. When Piers Morgan asked him what he planned for the future, Cristiano told Piers that he loved her greatly and found her to be as important as his best friend, as she opened her heart to him and listened to him when he did the same with her. In conclusion, despite the fact that these questions may have been made mostly with the intention of filling the headlines and not for Cristiano's benefit, it seems as if the Portuguese legend got the chance to release a bit of grief and pressure he had been holding in for a long time. Hopefully, it'll help him continue to show the best of his talent to the world and to be more ready to deal with the inner demons that may have hurt his career at one point or another. 
Thanks for watching this video on Goal Side. Hopefully, you've loved it. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on our next video.